Um, but those early years were really quite good for me, I think, because uh, I've only shot on film once, but it was a real discipline of oh, yeah. how, how to, you know, what's your next shot? You just can't keep the camera running. Business. So first off, how did you get into this crazy business? I think it also, I mean, it is a good discipline to have. And also, I think that when I was cutting that, mm -hmm. when I started editing, I always say to, to young student film directors, if you want to learn how to direct, you need to know how to cut because you need to know how the shots are going to come together. And we've all been there on sets before where you've got uh, 10 shots to get. The sun's going down. You can only get six. And you, you, you have to do the mental math in your head and go, well, I could drop that shot. I could cut from that to that, get around that. I could go straight. To, I, could, I need that shot to make the scene work. But I could drop this one. And you can do that math because you know how to cut. And if you don't know how to cut, you're just going to go, well, I need to shoot everything. Then you run over or you're second guessing yourself. So and just just cut and cut and cut. Because I know, you know, any, if you're a good editor, you're a good director. And I think that's the secret. No, I agree with you. I, I started off as an editor and it's helped me dramatically as a director because you just kind of know where to stop the cut because you're like, oh, yeah. you're kind of editing on set in your mind. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And sometimes I, as a DP as well, I sometimes shoot for other directors. And if you're working for a director that knows editing and I'd say to them, do you want to go again on that wide? And they go, no, I'll be out of there. I'll be out of there by then. I'll be on the single. And they know where they're going to cut, so we don't have to do the shot again. Mm -hmm. But if you're working with a slightly newer, inexperienced director, they go, oh, do you think we should go again? I think we should do the wide again, that two-minute wide shot for another take, uh, because they don't quite know how it's going to come together. And, and that's where you run over and things like that. So it's really good uh, foundation, I think, editing. Yeah, absolutely. And and before you had to, you know, find an avid system or find a flatbed to sneak in at night or in the early mornings yeah. or on weekends to practice on where now sure. literally you can edit on your phone. Uh, but or even, you know, get free software like Resolve or Final Cut for like 200 bucks. I mean, yeah. it's well, ridiculous. Even avid, I think media first, I think is free. It's a download. Oh, I they started giving they finally started giving something away for free at avid. <laughs> <laughs> 